Now let us see the multiplication of three digit number multiply by another three digit number. Now this procedure involves four steps. Let us see one by one. As a step number one, we will multiply the numbers in the first column and write their product here. In step number two, we have to multiply crosswise in column one and two and write the addition of their product here. In step number three, we have to cross multiply column three and column one and to the addition of their product, we should add the multiplication of column number two numbers and obviously we'll write their product here. In step number four, we should cross multiply column two and column three and write their product here. And in the last step, as you can guess, we will multiply the column number three numbers and write their product like this. Now, let me show you this method in one step. I am taking the same numbers. As a first step, I will multiply the column number one. As a second step, I will cross multiply and add column number one and column number two. As a third step, I will multiply, rather cross multiply column one and three and add multiplication of column two. This is step three. As in step four, I will multiply column number two and three crosswise. And as a last step, I will multiply column number three. My answer can be in one line or if we have some carryovers, my answer will come in second line. And ultimately, we can add them traditionally. Let me take one simple example, say 124 multiplied by 355. Let us see the steps involved in this. At the step 1, I will multiply 4 into 5. So I get 20. So this 20 will come here. At step 2, I will cross multiply column 1 and 2. So I will have 5 into 2 plus 5 into 4. So I get the answer 30. So my 30 will come in this fashion. At step 3, now remember column 1 and column 3. So I will have to do 5 into 1 plus 3 into 4 and to this addition column number 2 multiplication that is 2 into 5. So I get 27. This 27 will come like this. As step 4, column 2 and column 3 that is 5 into 1 plus 3 into 2. So I get 11. So my 11 goes here and as a last step that is fifth step I will multiply last column that is 3 into 1. So here I get 3. I will write rather 0 3. So I got my answer in two lines and I have to just add them traditionally. So I get 0 here 2 7 plus 3 is 10. Here I'll get 4 4 again so my final answer is 44020.